Today I'm going to talk to you about the Galapagos penguins, their risk for extinction, and my plan to help them stay safe. I'd like to start off by telling you a joke. What do you call Galapagos penguin in the Sahara Desert? Lost. <laughs> Believe it or not, there is a species of penguins that does live in the desert, but the type of penguin I'm going to be talking about today is the Galapagos penguin. The reason I'm interested in the Galapagos penguins is because when I was about four years old, my older cousin told me she was very fond of penguins. I thought they sounded really cool, so over the years, my interest has grown a lot. This is me with my friend Haji. He is an African penguin. He happens to be at the Georgia Aquarium. We all know that the Galapagos penguins don't belong in the desert, but where they do belong, the Galapagos Islands, which is on the equator, is no longer safe for them. The Galapagos penguins are very special in the world. Here's why. The Galapagos penguins are the only species of penguins that does live in the Northern Hemisphere. With the Northern Hemisphere's warm climate, the Galapagos penguins face many different challenges than most penguins. But lucky for them, they're very good at keeping cool. Here's how. They can expand their blood vessels and open their mouths very wide to cool off. Weather conditions are destroying the Galapagos penguins' habitats. El Nino is a weather condition that causes ocean waters to warm up which causes the fish that the Galapagos penguins eat move to colder waters. This is happening in the Galapagos Islands. We all know there is no way for us to control weather conditions. The other reason that the Galapagos penguins are at risk for extinction is because of people's carelessness. Here are some things that people are doing. Illegal fishing is taking the Galapagos penguins food. The Galapagos penguins are also getting caught in the fishing net. The illegal fishing is not as severe as it was, but there is always more room for improvement. People are illegally dumping oil in the ocean, which is very dangerous to penguins. Fortunately, this has become much more controlled in the Galapagos Islands, but still a big concern for penguins in general. People are moving into the Galapagos penguin environment, which is using more energy and water, which can kill the Galapagos penguins. A big issue with humans, move, humans moving in is that we are bringing in other animals such as dogs, cats, and even goats that can have a devastating result on the islands and the Galapagos penguins' nests. So as you can see, three out of four of the reasons that the Galapagos penguins are at risk for extinction is because of us, but we can help. Here's some things we can do. Conserve energy. For example, ride your bike more than drive or turn off the water when not in use. Be careful about the reason we need to conserve energy is because when we waste energy, we create air pollution, which can kill the Galapagos penguins. Be careful about fishing out, not fishing out their food when we get food for ourselves, and think about their environment when we change ours. To me, it would be awful to have no species of penguins in the Northern Hemisphere. Right now, there are about 2,000 Galapagos penguins left in the world. When I spoke to middle lab assistant Jeff Smith at the Center for Ocean Sentinels, he said that nobody knows for sure how many Galapagos penguins are left in the world. Because they hide in lava tubes, or also they're dying at sea, and also they're wandering farther and farther away from their habitats. <coughs> Here's my plan. I'm going to start Pennies for a Penguin Day, a day on April 24, 2015, the day before World Penguin Day. On April 2, 2015, I'm going to start sending out flyers telling people to, set, to save their pennies for, pen, pennies for a Penguin Day. On Pennies for a Penguin Day, I'm going to go out with box, donation boxes, and people can donate their change. At the end of the day, I'm going, to, I'm going to collect the boxes, empty the boxes to get the change, and donate the change to the Center for Ocean Sentinels to help them continue their research on the Galapagos penguins. Now you know that humans are disturbing the Galapagos penguins' habitats. Now you know why they matter. Now you know how we can help. And now you know my plan. So thinking back to my joke, I'd like to change it to, what do you call a penguin in the Galapagos Islands? Safe. <laughs>